Hello everyone and welcome to RMU Club Hockey Live, episode 11, the first of our second semester. Today we have two members of the Division II Women's Club Hockey team with us, Miss Danielle Carroll and Miss Hannah Vogel. Ladies, welcome aboard. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you for having me. Tonight is going to be a fun one as Niagara comes here for their first time. Yeah. And last time was a close game with you guys mm -hmm. and now it seems like everyone's ready for a little bit of a redemption tour and hopefully get the first win for the whole program on ice tonight. Yeah. I'm pretty sure our last game we only lost by one, right? I think so. We keep losing by less. So yes. we are improving. Yes, we are improving. I think it was like 3-2. That's not as bad as some of our other games. So we'll take it as a win. Hopefully we can actually win tonight. It seems just going across the board, everyone. This seems pretty positive. It's not this yeah. game I know. RIT's coming up in there. Negative 100 goal differential is something to be pretty positive about. Yeah. yeah. yeah Gives us hope for if we don't win tonight, hopefully we can get one then. If you don't, I don't think we have some serious explaining to do if you lose to a team with a negative 100 goal differential. I think you can even throw Andrew maybe in that and he, he wouldn't give up that many. Uh, no? <laughs> Count myself slack. I think you maybe uh, let up maybe I don't know, five. Like five? That was five. like four. They yeah. only played like four games, though. <laughs> I've just played 20. six minutes this, this season. And it doesn't count because you didn't play for RMU. Good point. I still played six minutes. <laughs> Six more minutes. Six though. minutes. Me too. <laughs> I mean, your average ice time is what thirty minutes a piece now. Just about. Yeah. On a good day. <laughs> yeah. Unless someone's out of the lineup. Yep. Yeah. Pretty when we have three D, it's probably closer to forty. Yes. And that's where that's where Hannah logs all the minutes, but uh, no points. Yes. That is correct. I contribute solely by being a body on the ice. Yes. Yeah, I can definitely see the. You throw a couple checks in there. I see a little physicality, but at least you stay out of the box. Unlike certain people. Becky Shook. Um, yes, I keep my Amara. hands, I keep my hands down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But is tonight the night where maybe the, the first apple, maybe the first goal? Uh, perhaps. We'll have to see how it goes. You were close a few times. I think you can get it tonight. A fluke, yes. Yes. We'll see, right? Yeah. If not, and you said a penalty minute would work too. Yes, any, 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 anything. Any anywhere. stat. Yes, any, any, stat. any stat. Put me on the board anywhere. It might be the luck of the red jerseys, as we talked about before the show. It's the debut of the red jerseys on home ice. It yes. sure is. It's kind of a poke at Niagara. They never get to wear their purples, apparently, so uh, we're going to bring back our away jerseys. Yes, when we played them, they forced us to wear our whites away, so we are forcing them to do the same now. Is the purple jersey at least nice? No. No, no style. It I is Niagara. quite literally just a purple jersey with their logo on it. It looks exactly like their white one does. <laughs> but purple. But purple. I mean, home ice gets to choose what jersey. And we choose red and every we time. choose red. Is that going to be going forward? If you win tonight, is that going to be a new common thing where you're going to make the other team wear white on the road? It has to be. It has to. Yeah. If we win tonight, it has to be the start of some new tradition. I hope so. I'd like to see the, the red jerseys in action. I know we didn't get to see them with pretty much any other home teams to see the yeah. away jerseys, if you call them. Mm -hmm. Andrew, have you guys worn your, your, home, or your away jerseys at home at all? Once. We wore them once because our coach put down the wrong color. On the score sheet. Hmm. Hey, coach should do that tonight. Yeah. Yeah. So they you should just accidentally just, write mm -hmm. it down. We were half changed, and then they said, you have to put on your other socks. Like, oh. So we had to all get undressed. That's happened to us before, except yes. we didn't have time to change our socks, so we just had to mismatch, mismatch it. That seems pretty fun. Uh, it didn't look very good. <laughs> it's not about style, it's about play. 50-50. It, <laughs> it has to be style. Style and play. What we lack in play, we make up for in style. Correct. <laughs> Let's get into a little bit about your guys' hockey background. Hannah, we'll start with you. I know you started as a attendee, make yes. your way into now a defenseman. Kind of walk us through your hockey journey to this point. Yeah, so I started in Girl Scouts because my dad was like, you have to do something. So I tried that out, and uh, I ended up loving it. And I played, like, Wildcats, Steel City as a goalie for my entire career. Um, but I broke my hip, so I got the no-go for being a goalie anymore. And I decided that I, I, I want to play still, so uh, defense would have to do because I know how to block a shot. So that, that does come in handy sometimes, and I know how to not be in the way, and I know how to be a body. So yeah. it, it translates very well. She does play. drop into a butterfly every once in a while in I the do. middle of the you ice to block me. a shot. Yes. It's yes. happened Just multiple like, times. Just a little bit of the old goalie technique. You're like, yeah, yeah I can't I'm stop still it. attendee. Yeah. It works. It does. Exactly. And for you, what made you kind of come to RMU and your decision to play here? Um, well, I didn't really choose RMU for hockey because at the time, 
I came, there was no hockey team, there was like talks of it. Um, so I came for my uh, major, nursing, and then whenever I found out the team was gonna start, I decided that I uh, might as well give it a try. All you girls on the team seem to be nurses, pretty much. You, Michaela, I'm pretty Me. sure. Me. You're a nurse? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yes. <laughs> so we literally have half the team as nurses. So if someone gets yeah. hurt, we have 19 medical assistants on the bench. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, you guys are set. <laughs> All right, Daniel, for you, kind of your hockey career at this point, and how you end up here at Armiel. Well, when I was five, I started playing inline because my brother did. And then I played inline till I was in eighth grade. Then I played rink rats for a few years and started playing Steel City with Hannah when I was a freshman and then I even played my freshman year of college and then now I'm here. Continued playing just having yeah. fun with it pretty much? Pretty much yeah. And now you are the leading scorer as previously mentioned. What are you up to now? Four or five goals? I think six. Six goals? Yeah I don't think they put that last game in where I scored. I gotta update my score sheet right after we're done with this, so I gotta remember that. Andrew, make a note for me, six goals now. Got it. Anyone get an assist on that if they did not add it? Probably me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> 23. I, I think she just wants the assist. <laughs> I think she does too. Please, put me on the board. Andrew, shall we put, put her on the board? Just give it to her. I feel like I then if she gets a point tonight, we can make a big deal out of it. Yeah, Please sure. Do. Maybe change it after the game. Yes. Yeah. We'll, yes. We'll talk to, yeah. We'll talk to Akja to see if we'll change yeah. it. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Or we'll just put on a random secondary assist. <laughs> I don't even yeah. think she was on the ice, but it's fine. <laughs> but it's fine. Hey, it hit off her helmet on the bench. Oh, yeah, exactly. exactly. Mm -hmm. Going back to you now leading the team in goals, has it always been your kind of game to put pucks in that, or has it just kind of happened as a late where just shots seem to go in? I've, like, had some goals, but I've usually been more of an assist person. My game's kind of changed since playing in college, and now it's kind of like I get more luck at the draw whenever I shoot. Spread the wealth a little bit, eh? I'm trying. You have what, one assist and six goals? That's not me. I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're lying. I think you, you're a little bit of a puck hog. At right. least you're not the zero pointer over that's here. That's true. I would. The only person that's not a goal. Well, technically you are a goal. Eh, technicality, I guess. It's, it's a technicality. You get, you get the pass. I mean, all goalies have no points, even though you're not a goalie anymore. Yeah. I like to continue my play, though, into yes. my play now. So it's working out well. It's a weird question for a defender, as also as a goalie, but do you like blocking shots? I actually do. I get a good rush because I see it coming, and like as a goalie, I'm just like, oh yeah, like this one's going here, and I know it. So it's it's good to anticipate for me, and you know, just you know, a little thing. You're just like yeah, and then you you're like on, you're on one, like you know, you yeah. take yeah. a headshot, and you're like. Oh. Yeah. And you get that you get the, all goalies are crazy. <laughs> Whip me on this. Yep. No, you just get you just get like this high and then you're able to like take it and you don't feel anything after that. You just get that minor concussion, you're like, I'm ready. Correct is minor, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. You just keep going. Shake it off, keep going. Andrew yeah. gets it, so walk it off. Yeah. Exactly. The only difference is she got playing time, you didn't. I have playing time. Six minutes doesn't count. Counts you face one shot. Not even Three. far from you. Three shots. When your teammates are taking it easy on you. I wouldn't hey. A win is a win. Yeah. It wasn't a win, it was a loss. <laughs> Does their goalie they quit or yes. just leave the game? He left. If you don't know the story about Wooster visiting, it was Wooster, right? Yes. Okay, Wooster visited RMU. They went up, what, 6 nothing in the first period? 7 1. Sorry, 7 1. <laughs> and the end of the first, second, start of the second period, they come out, and I'm like, where's their goalie? And we're sitting in the box, we're scrambling around, and the ref goes over and goes, have you guys seen their goalie? We're like, no. And we just see Andrew skating over. He goes, I'm going in net for Wooster. He's like, what? <laughs> his parents slow down and go, Caden, what's going on? I'm like, I think Andrew's playing for Wooster now. Just transfer for the game. Come yep. back. Yep. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. So yeah, that's how you get your game time in. Yep. So congratulations, Wooster goalie. We're proud of you. Some more ice time than some players on our team. Keegan Mackey. Yeah, among, <laughs> among others. Andrew. We also talked beforehand about the DJ saga where Miss Bree Medved said that you are a very, very bad DJ. What would you like to say in response to that and her music taste? Her only claim is that because I like Taylor Swift. And, like, as I should, because Taylor Swift's good. Yes, I agree. But the one day Brie put on British trap rap, and I don't think my life will ever be the same because that was just horrendous. And. I don't, I don't know who told her that was okay, because I don't think she should ever play music again. And that's me coming back at her for calling me that out. That was a fine. 
Yeah, we should yes. find her for that. I agree. Is this our first find live on air? I think so. How much? Brie, we're coming for you. How much? I think our limit's like five dollars, but maybe we'll go easy on her and give her like one. Or ten. Ten? Ten. That we'll find one for insulting the leading scorer. Yeah. And one okay. for insulting the music taste. Yeah. Two dollars coming at you, going in the piggy bank. Double fun. Double fun. What's this year's fine gonna go towards? Um, I don't know we've necessarily had any final decisions, but as of now, for a team party. <laughs> so we better start finding people more so we have enough money for the team <laughs> party. Really You're going to have party. five bucks to spend on like a hey, bag of chips for the team. The other day at practice, I think we got $5 just for people hitting goalies in the head with pucks. Who's, I think like $6 went in the other day. Who's the suspects that get fined the most? Madison? Madison, I think, Madison had to put $3 Lyra. in just She's for her. She's notorious. I've had concussions from her before. Yep. Madison, come on. She's one of the only three other girls that haven't come on here yet. Her, Becky, and Aaron. So mm -hmm. we're slowly din dwindling our way down. So I'm next to Becky in the locker room, so I'll yell at her and get her on here. <laughs> I gotta use the adjectives. <laughs> I like the descriptors. I appreciate that. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, so it'll be your guys' choice if you want all three to come on together, you want one to come on. I mean, you guys can do whatever you want at the end here. You guys have time to decide on it, though. We'll talk. We'll talk. We'll talk. We'll, we'll have plenty of time. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll get in cahoots. <laughs> Andrew, I'll pass it to you. We have a question in chat, or would you like to come up with it on the fly? Uh, Pre-game routines. What do we got? I don't really have any. Um, I just listen to Taylor Swift and not listen to the music. Um, not a British trap. No. Um, I feel like I used to have more when I was younger than... I just kind of stopped caring about them because I realized that they actually didn't impact me at all. Yeah, it's like wearing the same socks every game. I still do it. There's no proven evidence because we've lost every single game. <laughs> but, you know, it's just part of the mental. But You've never broken an ankle in those socks, though, so maybe if you switch, you'll break an ankle. Facts. You don't want to take so chances. Don't, yeah, don't, don't take chances. chances there. No. no. As a goalie, did you have any specific superstitions oh. you went to? Oh, yes. The crazy eyes? The crazy eyes, yeah. You just I would look over eyes. and see her sitting you in the locker gotta, room like this. You get dizzy if you don't, okay? Mm -hmm. And the, the ball's moldy. against the wall, up and down, drop terrifying. the ball from the ceiling, man, hand, eye. But as a player, I find I simplify them. I just bring it down a notch. Yeah. Just sit there normally, get hype a little bit. Not to the British trap rap, to Taylor no, Swift. To also. Obviously Taylor Swift. Obviously. We do yeah. occasionally share an AirPod. We do, one in each. Is it old Taylor Swift or new Taylor Swift? All Taylor Swift. All Taylor Swift. We had some trash talk on here from one of the D3 boys, Brian Baker, who said the new Taylor Swift album is trash. Brian Baker that, has no taste. Yeah. <laughs> like, why is he listening to her? He said he's a Swifty. Oh, he's not a real Swifty not. if he doesn't clearly like Midnight. Not. <laughs> oh, the question is now, are you guys going to go to Taylor Swift concert? I don't have that much money. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Hannah was with me in my experience trying to buy tickets. I was in like in there trying to pick tickets and every time it said another fan beat me to it and it didn't oh, let me buy no. any and i'm still distraught over it and it's been like two months there's nothing on no, no StubHub listings yet unless i want to pay like ten thousand dollars no their tickets Jeez. going for like no fifteen thousand mm -mm. i think just because people have the tickets and they're like if they sell they sell i'll get fifteen thousand dollars if not i get to go to taylor swift yeah i'm kind of in that boat i got somehow two tickets to morgan wallen I heard that was hard to get tickets. Was literally I literally had someone go on for me because I had something else to do, and he was oh. like, hey, I got two for you. But they also bought, like, an entire row. Yeah. But they're one of those people. It's a big family. Okay. It's uh, Austin McLean, the PA guy. Oh, okay. Mm. He did the work for me, but I got tickets for me, and I surprised my girlfriend with it for Christmas. So. That was kind. That was very kind. Yes. Let's hope she doesn't dump me before June. Um, <laughs> you can, can hold you it can over her head. You can make a lot of money on, on I could. Stuff. Yeah. Andrew? You want Morgan Wallen tickets? Uh, I'll pass. I got other people on the team that'll probably want them more. I'll sell them for a thousand each. I'm sure. That's a bargain. I'm sure, I'm sure someone will buy it. Yeah. They yeah. probably would. Yeah. Make a quick bank off that. Do you have any uh, questions in chat, Mr. Keel? Uh, what female athletes do you aspire the most? Danielle Carroll. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she's the leading scorer on my team. <laughs> I've played with her for years. So I saw you come up from um, being the inline all star mm -hmm. to uh, leading scorer on thank you. the Watch a D2 team. Oh, thank you. I feel very obligated now to say Hannah Vogel. <laughs> Just watching you be a goalie to now 
perfecting being a skater. It it's is still in the process. It Thank is you. very honorable, <laughs> and I admire you very much, and for being my personal nursing tutor. That's me. Oh, that's sweet. Both of you guys help each other out in both lit for nursing and, and hockey. Yeah. I give her a, a tip occasionally. She no longer swings her stick from behind her. It's on the hip. Yes. And you go forward. Yes. And, yeah, usually it works. Nuts. N- yeah, n- I mean, you know, I have loose elbows sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Old habits die hard. You know the poke. Yeah. Speaking of poke, Pokey, I believe, is a net tonight. Also known as Crazy Legs McGee, also known as 19 other nicknames. Yes, Crazy Legs. I, he lost me there and then got me back. Gotcha. That's what she wants to go by now is Crazy Legs McGee. I supposedly. Oh, wow. I like it. I like it. Crazy I legs. support least, her. At least that's what she told me. But I'll use all 95 nicknames for tonight to avoid saying her last name. <laughs> <laughs> she's told me multiple times, and I still don't know if I could say it right. I, feel, I thought I had it right, and then she's like, no, you didn't. I'm like, then what is it? And then she's like, it's this. And I'm like, "Isn't that's what I said. I feel like she tells me so many things that people mess it up as that I can't remember how to actually say it, because I just think it's the other ones that she tells Wasn't me. Is it I think it's Wachowiak. I've close. been saying Wachowiak. I thought it was Wachovia. I'm not a big grammar girl. I don't know the long There's too many letters in there. Mm. Sorry, Mackenzie. Crazy legs. Crazy legs. Simple. Mackenzie, if you're watching, please don't get mad at me again. (laughs) We've been over this about ten times. We're trying. That's all that matters. Mackenzie W. Dot. That's it. Exactly. That works. We'll just put that on the back of her jersey. W. Dot. W. Dot. Speaking of fun nicknames, I know, Quinson, I gave you Daninator off your first goal. So I have heard... Is it is it the nickname gonna stick or we we looking for something else? Honestly, call me whatever. <laughs> you can think of something new. You can keep going with it. Whatever comes up in the moment, I'm good with. It just kind of came on the fly, pretty much. There you go. And then Hannah, I know yours is just Vogie at the moment. Is That's there... okay. If I score, you have to find a new one though. Okay. <sighs> or That's... an assist, like any. Yeah, you have to. It's I like gotta think of something better than Vogie. I don't. My name's hard. You can't really anator it. Yeah, exactly. you can do the hand anator, but yeah. that's that's hand anator and dan anator. That's too close. Exactly. I don't want to give everyone like a close nickname. But yeah. maybe if I squirt and you say dan anator, people will think it's hand anator. <laughs> Benefit of the doubt. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The, the best one we have so far. I don't. I don't know. What do you think the best one we got so far? Energy between. I don't know. I was like, I thought dan anator was good on the fly. Yeah. I'm horrible at nicknames. Me as well. Out of all the years I've known her, I only call her Han. I think I called her Hera the Big Rig once. I think. Because she just, like, killed somebody on the board. Like, oh, there's the Big Rig. She does that. (laughs) That's that's true. That and then Becknado. 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 That's, like, a... That's a good one. Yeah, that is an original. That was one where she took four penalties or three penalties in a ten-minute span. One of them, she turned around and punched someone after I hit the girl into her, so that was kind of my bad. (laughs) Um... (laughs) So, sorry about that one, Beck. Not nah, the penalty minutes on hers. You don't have to say sorry for anything. True. True. Amara told us before the season started that she has to put the penalty minutes down or keep the penalty minutes as matching her game total. Has she done a good job so far, or do you think she has a, a little bit more work to do to keep that number down? I have played with Amara for quite a while, and I have seen her get at least two penalties every game for like ten games in a row. So I think all in all, she's been keeping it down this season. She really has. She has to carry my weight yeah. on the ice, so she has really toned it down. There you go, Mark. Congratulations. Proud of you. Let's, now she's going to get pouty tonight. We just oh, jinxed. yeah. We of just course, totally jinxed course. her. Yeah. This happens all the time on here. Thankfully, you're not starting in goal, Hannah, or else you'd be letting in about seven or eight tonight. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually discussing the probability of that happening. I mean, e-bug? Go. Definite e-bug? Mm-hmm. If it wasn't you, who do you think would be an e bug? What do you think? <laughs> it has to be me. It would. You know what, Bree? You're in that. <laughs> Bree's e bug. <laughs> she she played a, or NCA. She deserves to go on that. There you go. There you go. That's her punishment for not going straight to Acha. Yeah. Bree. Like, who do you think you are? She's You're bad at music. You skipped Acha. <laughs> Two strikes. <laughs> <laughs> One more, you're done, Bree. Poor Bree. Yeah. She's easy to pick on. She is, but she's also the captain, so you have to respect her a little bit. A, a little, little bit, bit. Within reason. Right. Andrew, we got anything in chat, my friend? Um, would you ever play roller? Well, due to the fact that I did for 10 years, yes. <laughs> now. How about now? 
more specifically for the tier two roller hockey team plug 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 <laughs> maybe I'd have to like learn how to skate again since I have it in like five years but my brother played on it so I, Maybe oh, you'd have I, to teach I, me I the ways. I can't get worse than I am now, so I might as well. I have played every position on the ice, and now I'm going to branch out to the deck, the roller arena, <laughs> the deck, the, deck <laughs> the roller, roller derby. derby, the roller derby. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'm willing to branch out. 100%. Roller, roller's rough. I'll give some people. Yeah. Or we've seen with um, our main team and our tier two team. The tier two team dominated last year, went undefeated. Guys like Parker Rutherford, the D1 goalie, actually led the team in goals. See, that could be you. Exactly. Could, so goalies turn be, forward, you. lead the league in, in goals. I will, I will carry that on. Don't worry. There you go, Sean. I got you your recruit. <laughs> well, and I still have all my equipment, so if I wouldn't have to buy can, anything. You can borrow. They have yeah. a, a plethora of stuff. They were supposed to have a game last night, but then there's a power outage at the rink. So a little unfortunate. We've break. had those before. Like, yeah. Shady a little bit different. A little bit different with the ice, though. It melts. Right. Yeah. It usually does. Yeah. That's not yeah. Good. All right, Danny. You're on a two-on-one. What goalie do you want to shoot on, and what player are you taking? And are you going to pass or shoot the puck? That was a lot of questions. <laughs> Let's break that down. <laughs> I'm in a two-on-one. Yep. Which of my goalies am I taking? Yeah. Which one are you going to shoot on, or pass on? Like, which one do you want to go against? I'm going to go with X. And I'm going to shoot it and probably miss the net by a long shot because that's always in practice, especially Wednesday mornings, I will miss the net. Um, but hopefully I'd get lucky because whenever I score, she likes to scream at me sometimes. So that's kind of funny. Typical X thing. So if I miss, she won't scream at me. So I Smart. score and get yelled at or I miss and don't. So it's a win-win. Yeah. All right, Hannah, for you. Again, a lot of questions there. Um, I'm, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Crazy Legs. Okay. Um, so I'm taking Crazy Legs only because I usually cannot get the puck off the ice, and she's so tall she can't really see down. And boom, right five hole. Okay. And that's there that's, you go. That's what I do. Yes. I want to see it. I want to see a breakaway now, and I want to see you put a five hole now. Well, that requires me to skate. I will try my best. <laughs> I'll you try can my do best, it. But for you tonight, if I get a new nickname. That's a lot of pressure. So and now I have to not, think not, about the next two hours. I have to skate down the yeah. ice against other people. Yeah. Like, that's put a pressure lot. on her. That's a lot. It's not pressure. It's just my job. <laughs> I'll give you the puck and cover for you. Great. Even great. though we're never on the ice at the same time. Have Danny and Amara set a screen. Just take out everybody and then just go down. Full D-line. Every, a all four of us. A full D-line plus one forward because there's not enough D. Exactly. <laughs> have Mackenzie skate out. She sets a screen. Have, like, the flying D go. going. There we go. I need that. I need that kind of support Let's just do a flying V for the whole game and hope for the best. <laughs> That's what Watcha is. Flying exactly. Pretty much. <laughs> flying V. <laughs> Pretty flying much. Flying Vs and scoring goals off the ice. We got it. Yep. Let's convince the other team to do it at us, like Red Rover. Just <laughs> everyone's goes back and forth. Yes. Flying V. So we've seen in a couple games now that after the first period you get your ice cut. After the second and third you don't. Do you like having the ice cut there or no? I think for us, since there are so few of us, the first period's kind of like an introduction where we get really tired really fast, but then after we like have that break, we kind of like are warmed up and can do the next two periods, and I think that I'd rather have it after the first than after the second. I'm constantly gassed, so I'd take any break I could get. <laughs> Anything. If there's a way to get a nice cut between every period... Would you take it, or mm, you're kind of used to now playing almost 40 minutes straight with I'm two used to playing on strictly adrenaline yeah. and an asthma attack usually. Yeah, yeah. she yeah. does have that and many asthma attacks. Yes, yes, but that's what that's good for. That's yeah. another team bonding thing between a few people, I think, have asthma attacks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we there are many the inhalers. Line. Before yeah. the game, yeah. they think they collect four yeah. inhalers. Mm -hmm. Yep, there's a lot of albuterol on that bench, so <laughs> we're good. We're good. Between that and the sickness where it almost took out all of you guys a couple oh months ago. Oh, my Lord, yeah. It was every day someone was sick, passing it around, people with masks at practice. That's real 2020 type stuff right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think Mackenzie got the worst out of that. She was Oh, she was sick for a while. She was like, for like two weeks. Yeah. Good thing we had another goalie, but if they both were taken out, we got a third. Thank you. Third string. We got, a, we got three and four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that? I now want to see a video of Brie going in for practice. We'll do it. We'll do it. 
she was showing us some clips of uh, her trying to pull off the Roman Kramer goal. I don't think anyone but Roman Kramer can pull that off. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If anyone on your team could do it, Amara. You, Amara. Why Amara? She has some sick hands. She does. This, that's all she did. She sits there. Sick yes. hands. Sick hands. She always complains when she has to do work, but whenever <laughs> she does do work, she, she makes does. it effortless. She really, effortless. she really does. She's also one of my idols. Oh, like yes. Like second in line. I do aspire to be her. Yes, me that too. is the definition of a stay at home defenseman. There will be times where she says, if the puck gets dumped this shift, you can get it. <laughs> and I'm like, this isn't a pre-planned thing. Like, if it goes to your side, you're getting it, like, but still, she'll still make me get it. As a center, do you, do you kind of like carrying it up yourself, or do you like the defense kind of doing it, helping you out with a breakout? They run the breakouts. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is a frequent reoccurrence. Like, they will set themselves up and then have someone stay back. So Amara and I do love the nice D to D breakout where I'm at the opposite blue line. It has worked once, I and think twice, at least, maybe even twice. Three times tonight. Let's hope. A nice breakaway goal I got out of that. Yeah. Besides Hannah, who else on the team is due for one tonight? Does Sid have a goal? I know she has some assists. She does not have a goal. I mean, no. she's she's all up in there. No, no goal. I think I think Sid's Sid, gonna get me one. Me and Sid tonight. Winning right. two nothing. You two are the only two that are scoring. Two nothing. So that's a it's actually two nothing W Hannah and Sid goals. Correct. Yeah. Has to be. I think Crazy Legs is getting a shutout. She's due. She's due. I mean she yeah. plays her butt off. I'll give Oh her yeah. That. She's oh, yeah. flopping oh, everywhere. Down. Always flopping. It's she's always, always on her. If she's stomach. not standing up, she's face first in the ice. Yeah. Yep. Every time. Yeah. Andrew, have you learned anything from Mackenzie and uh, following her footsteps of just diving at everything? I have not managed to get on my stomach. I managed to stay on my knees most of the time. You managed to stay on the bench most of the time. That is true. I was thinking practice, but oh, yeah, that's the I stay on the bench most of the time. That's the funny. We make fun of you more than anything. Yes. And you take it like a champ. Yep. All right. Since we're gonna keep making fun of Andrew, oh, <laughs> two on one. Where are you shooting on him? Give me a little. Show me where your hands are. Oh, jeez. Demonstrate. Yeah, get in front of the Stand camera and up. demonstrate. I'm not. Demonstrate. Yeah, get come in front on. of the camera. I'm good. Come on. No, you got it. No, 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 Come on. Come on. I'm good. Little. How about you show us and I'll demonstrate on my yeah. end? Yeah. What? Sure. You show me. Use your mirror. I'll put it back to the yeah. camera. I don't even know. I just kind of put oh. them somewhere. Six hole. Six hole. Six hole like down like this. I'm going top left. Next to the ear. Actually, probably. That's where I'm going to aim and I'm going to miss and it's going to miss the net. But in theory, that's where we go. Anywhere an Andrew can go in. That's just no chance. As long as you let the puck. Oh. <laughs> I'd say it's the other way around. I've scored on you a couple different ways. It's much easier to score on. Uh, I shouldn't say this, but it's much easier to score on me going along the knees. All right, D14. Andrew <laughs> says that he likes to, he lets in more goals along the ice. So for half of you that can't lift the puck, that's perfect. <laughs> I think I belong on the D4 team. <laughs> All right, going to that question. We've been asked a couple times, D4 versus D2. Who wins? It would be a mighty competition. I think that would be a pretty good game. I think that would be competitive. Um, what our team sometimes lacks in skill, we make up for in effort. And we can yes. get through games with that. Yes. Because with how many of us? 11 skaters now? If we're lucky. If we're lucky. We can get very tired, and when you get tired, you obviously cannot play as well, but we will skate anyone down, so I think we can manage to somehow pull out a win. But Andrews and Nev will definitely win. Yeah, easy. Wow. You yeah. said 11 skaters. We have another skater? Yes, yes, we got a new player this semester. Forward defense? Tell us a little bit about the, the new addition to the squad. I think, I'm pretty sure she's a forward. I, yeah, I think she is a forward. We couldn't be so lucky to get five. Yeah, right. Yeah. No. Now we just no, have a very generous. odd number of forwards. Yes, yeah, we do. But that's okay. We make that it That means I won't get pulled up. That's true. Forward. That's true. Anytime that we had someone missing, Hannah would get the short end of the stick and be pulled to forward, and then the defense would have to suffer with three the entire game. That's not ideal. No. Is it a, a transfer from another school, or she just like started? She's uh, from, from IUP. Of course, IUP. Happy you made the right choice, whoever you are. I don't know who you are yet. We'll see you tonight. Yeah, Maddie. 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 Another Maddie. Two yes, Maddies. Yes, correct. I do I believe they're spelled I-E. different. She's an I-E. Maddie. Well, Maddie. I, I don't know. Is like Maddie. Like with a Y. 
I don't know spelling. One's a Y, one's an <laughs> Yes, correct. Yeah. One's an alternate captain, one's brand new. Yep. That's an easy way to tell the difference. Do we have a, do we have a number yet? Or still TBD? There might be. Probably four. <laughs> if she took one. If we took, yeah. Yeah. The recent subtraction with the additions. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Probably four. Okay. I'm well, done with that. Andrew, remember that for me, too. I'll try. <laughs> what? He... He's in a color prom tonight, so you get to hear his beautiful voice on, as well. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. He's, he's a good color commentator. I'll give him that. That's the only time he doesn't insult me. I can't insult you. We have a bigger crowd then. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I can't. Okay. The one game, it was last year. It was a D1 game, I think. And a puck comes flying out of the stands. He's on the camera. And it bounces right in front of our, our setup. And I was with CJ, the other announcer, and he goes, man, that almost hit him. I'm like, yeah, that was pretty close. At least we have a goalie with us. And he goes, well, he has a D4 goalie. I don't know if he would have caught it. <laughs> That's just rude. I still have that one saved. You. Would you have caught it? Probably not, since I had both hands on the camera at the time. Just take one. <laughs> and the fact Quick that you were, flash. like, 10 feet to my left. It's kind of, kind of, us. It wasn't for the, the bleachers. We were dead. I would have just taken over that. Hannah and I did no, go no, to no. a D1 game last year where a puck came flying at our face, and we both decided to move. It was it, it was synchronized. We were like... Yeah, it was very much... If we didn't move, we would have died. Yes, correct. I was not ready at all. I would have gotten free tuition if I would have died. <laughs> I would have went. <laughs> just purposely... Just, yeah. oh, oh, crap. And we hit our heads off of each other, too. Exactly. And after that, they put a, a stupid netting on them. Yeah. Have you guys thought about who will be called off next to come on here? Out of the th well now four. Hmm. I think we need the transfer. I we, think we need we to do. get her inside scoop. We need to. We need the T on the IEP. Yeah. yeah. Her and we go solo. Or are you gonna put her with one of the other three? I feel like. We do Maddie and Maddie show. I, I was think. Gonna say. I think we could do that. We do Maddie and Maddie. The Maddie Maddies. I think Becky and Aaron have to come on together. Yes. Yes. They're a good duo. So yes. long and they're. they're just, not been shutting it down, but they both been like, eh, kind of dodging it. They have to at some point. Everyone yeah. does. We'll berate them. They can only dodge so much. You guys have a lot more home games. There's a lot more spots to fill. Yeah. Everyone has to double up at some point, too, possibly. Yeah. We'll get them on. Let's yeah. hope so. We'll try. So final score prediction is 2 nothing. You sticking with it? Yep, and I'm going to get one of the goals. What's the celebration for the goal? That's my Absolute favorite. 94. The cave, no, the caveman Spongebob you visualize. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That has to be it. I like that reference. I need both feet on the ice, so. There you go. Yes. Danny, if you get a goal, are you going try hard Sully? I don't think I have ever had an actual Sully. I just kind of scream and, like, do something <laughs> with my arms. I'm still, like, not used to scoring because I, like, usually don't, so. We gotta, never really we have. You've got to get so. one going for tonight, though. I don't know. Put it in the like back of your head just to see. In practice, I usually sell more just because it's ironic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, and I always remember after the fact, like, I'll score and then skate for five seconds and then celebrate. I don't think anyone can beat Haley's diving goal and she goes and just goes. Yeah, away. I still don't know how she fell. I don't know how it went in. <laughs> I, I've watched that at least five times. Still don't know what happened. I'm like, how are you in the corner? She like, when did you cuts, fall? And it just somehow ends up over here. She like, should have got her skate sharpened. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's an equipment management problem. Whoever. I feel like that's an Amara problem. Yeah. Amara sharpens all of our skates for she us. Amara is the EQ? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Every Wednesday, she works Wednesday nights at Barrel Ice Complex, the, the Bic. Bic. So we give her on, our skates. She she does a pretty good job, I will say. It is. Five-eighths. Ooh, perfect. She kills five-eighths. Perfection. All right, Amara, team player, team EQ, team penalty box taker. I mean, she does it all. She really, she really does. does. <laughs> you guys are too in sync. We, we are. Yes. We've known each other too long. Correct. They'll sure. put it on the ice and boom. Everyone gets a point. Everyone's happy. Probably Danielle would get a point. <laughs> Maybe I will, we're going like to get you I'll one. put a word into Austin. We'll get you your first point. We'll announce it as your first point, too, to make it a big ordeal. Thank yes. you. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, ladies, thank you so much for coming on. It was great having you. Thank Wishing you, you the us. best of luck tonight. Hopefully we will see the first ever Watch a Victory. Yes. On yes. Hopefully better than 2 nothing. We're going for 8. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's a bold take. I like it. Anna, I think we Danny, thank you so much, guys, for coming on. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Make you. sure to tune in tonight. We should be going live around 9 o'clock-ish. 
to watch Niagara take on the Women Colonials as they look to get their first victory of the semester and in their franchise history. As for Kate McCroy, producer Andrew Keel, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you tonight.